Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Nani Virtual, um, stay-at-home mom and graphic designer. And today's video is about how to get your tax business clearance um, in 2023. So I'm doing this video because um, the one from 2022 is a bit different from this one. Um, so yeah, this is it. Uh, before we get into it though, I'd like you guys to please support, um, my hustle. I'm a graphic designer. Uh, I do posters, business cards, but I do only designs. Um, these are my services on the, on this black page. Uh, and yeah, please um, contact me if you need any of these. Um, my number is on the description. It's also the number on that poster. Um, yeah, please just uh, WhatsApp me. You can email me as well. And and if you need any of my services on my website, which I'll leave the link on the description, you can contact me as well. I do business registrations, I do business plans. Um, I help you with your business plan, right? And I do SARS clearance certificates, BE certificates, anything that has to do with CIPC and SARS, basically. So please do contact me for these if you don't have time to do them yourself. So let's get into it. This is the um, document that you are looking for um, from SARS. So how we're going to do it is through the SARS query system. This is how it looks. And how we get to the SARS query system is by searching on Google. Uh, make sure it's Google because this is Yahoo at this point And we want to search on Google because it's much easier to find things on Google instead of Yahoo. So we're going to search Google on Yahoo and get into Google. I'm going to search for the SARS query system. And we're going to use the SARS query system 6000. So not the 66, which is this one, the online query pre. I don't know what that is. Uh, we're going to use the prod. So it has to say 6000 prod on the link. So you find that and click on it. It's going to send you straight to your tax compliance system and you're going to choose um, company instead of individual. So for individual, you will choose individual and they ask for your um, uh, ID number. But at this point, they asking for our company registration. So at this point, when you have uh, pressed generate form, um, you will have to validate uh, you, that that um, that pop-up that you just saw. You have to validate that. Um, make sure that it's all caps or if it's caps on the picture, you type in the caps, uh, capital letters or small letters. So this right here, is what you're gonna see after the um, after you've submitted that uh, capture uh, capture text. So this email, this email right here is very important. That's the email you need to have for this. Um, you need to have access to. So right here, you're gonna click on yes or no. Are you the representative on behalf of the taxpayer so you say yes because you're not a tax practitioner or if you are a tax practitioner you say yes on the on the right side uh so on this second part you will you will um uh take the part that says um re representative taxpayer and then you will fill in everything Make sure when you're done filling in everything on here, 
um, the 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 part that's written representative or authorized will be blue. Every part of this of this um, form has to be blue because if it's red, then it means you haven't filled in properly. So you're gonna fill in your ID number. You don't need to fill in your passport number. Um, after that. Uh, you have to fill in your business telephone number. Just use the same number as your, um, as your the phone number that you used when you registered for SARS. Just use that. Uh, just finish typing your ID number. I'll finish typing my ID number. Make sure that it's correct because it can detect. It can d detect. Um, if the um, ID number is wrong. So I'm just going to fill in these. The ID number is wrong, so we need to fill in what our mistake was. So that is correct um we'll fill in our email because it's still red on there most of the um, of these so this email that we are filling in here is the one that i was showing you in the um first part of this form you need to have that email that you put in when you were registering your company but if you don't have that email, just put in any email. But I doubt that they're gonna send um, the 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 tax uh, clearance certificate there. But you can try that. As you can see, it's blue. Um, the form is blue. There's no red parts. So I just submit. Make sure your laptop has the correct date. Um, it says undefined, um, so it wants us to start over the whole thing. So we're going to start over. Um, be patient with it because it needs patience. So we do the capture again. Caps, if it's caps on the picture, small letters and small letters on the picture. Then we go through the process, see if... You see, it goes back. It wants us to start over when it does that. So you need to start over the whole process. So we're going to do that. So in the end, we submit and then we wait for the the correspondence to be sent to our email wait for that to load and then it's going to say correspondence will be issued shortly and you just go on to your email that you um filled in and you will get your tax compliance um certificate if i may call it document if i may call it that um so thank you guys for like supporting my channel and watching this video it helps a lot if you subscribe as well um you can ask questions on the comments section i answer quite quickly um thank you so much i'm so sorry for the noise that my daughter has been making so sorry so sorry um thank you so much and i'll see you on the next one i have so many videos i want to do um thank you again